morning, Quidditch fans. It's actually Tuesday. Tomorrow I'm going to be all over the place, going from work to Coney Island in Brooklyn, and then back to the dorms, and I don't know if I'll get back before midnight, so I'm just going to film it today and upload it tomorrow morning. So my apologies to Stevie if she posts her video late, but this is something I have to do. Right now I'm a few dozen feet above 10th Avenue. I'm in Manhattan on the High Line. Beautiful, beautiful wild flowers that overtook what used to be old railroad track and then was reclaimed into a park. And it's become a place where a lot of people go. Say hello to the crazy sculpture. So this week's theme is comic books. I'm walking with Neil Gaiman's What Happened to the Cape Crusader comic book in my bag. I read it at lunch today. It is amazing. I really only got into reading comic books in the past few years. Um, I still have a huge affinity for the first real series that I read and still try to keep up with, which are Star Trek comics. <laughs> that there's so many great comic book series that, you know, they originated as comics, and I, I love Star Trek comics. I ordered for my birthday on Think Geek all of the Star Trek comics from DC Comics from 1970 to 2002 on one DVD-ROM so I can I can read them on my on my computer which I think is awesome and probably most people don't but I don't really care. Star Trek comics are one of the few comics I actually buy. The other ones that I have in my collection either either got at Comic-Con here in New York or at Mocha Fest which is another um, comic convention. Probably a tie between Dark Horse and IDW as my favorite publisher. IDW largely because of the Star Trek comics. And Dark Horse largely because of the many Whedonverse comics and Dark Horse Presents which I enjoy. Crazy building. Crazy building. Yeah. I do love movies based on comic books. For the record, I think I'm one of the few people at this point to not seen the movie 300 but to have read the graphic novel 300 after the movie came out. I don't know why I did it that way, I still have to see the movie. Yeah, but the graphic novel, amazing. Frank Miller is absolutely incredible. I still have to read The Dark Knight Returns because that is a masterpiece. Obviously I love Batman and Superman. It's difficult not to love Superman and Iron Man and Aquaman, which they made a pilot of um, back in the days of the WB, uh, but it was never picked up. Holy crap, that's awesome. I want to go down there. I'm going to go down there. Yeah, they don't have the hat of choosing with me, and because I don't want to shoot another thing back at the dorms of me using the hat of choosing, I'm just going to ask you all you guys, and you can put it in comments as well, but hopefully in your videos. You know, what's your favorite park? And maybe do a video in your favorite park. And Robin, I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, seriously, look at this thing. How could I not be enthralled by this thing? It's crazy.